on guys, Etika from the Etika World Network here to bring you some more informational Super Smash Brothers news and this one today comes from Rush Hour Smash which is actually run by Akiya Taro, he's a co-creator of it. I didn't even understand that at first when I saw the first video in the series which explained the neutral. Uh, he did a video covering this as well too so check that out on his channel but um, Akiya Taro runs this stuff so I'm like, I don't know if I'm saying your name right, I apologize but I mean, but yeah, Akiya Taro is a really cool dude man, the guy's got me at it on Twitter and everything, I haven't actually talked to him yet but I mean, he seems pretty cool though so I mean, hey man, go and follow him on Twitter as well, but you gotta make sure you check out this Smash Theory video that he released again on Rush Hour Smash. The last one was amazing and it detailed the neutral game, which is like basically a mind game of putting out bait and trying to get an approach from your opponent that you can punish. And so it was super informative and it kind of told you some of the fundamentals of the game of Smash. And it involved like knowing when to shield and knowing when to grab and knowing when to attack and how the three of them form like a rock, a rock paper, scissors combination. So I mean, very informative stuff in a very bite-sized amount of time. I'm very curious to see exactly, very, 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 I'm extremely curious to see what's going on with this new video which involves zoning. So all I'm expecting is duck hunt dog all day, <laughs> but I mean the zoning game man, Mega Man's duck hunts, all that. Let's see what Smash, um, excuse me, Rush Hour Smash details for us in this one and see if we learn anything new from this. Check out the original in the description. Zoning. The utilization of spacing your character, oh, villager, of hitboxes, course. and potential hitboxes Custom villagers, to crazy. limit the options of your opponent to create pressure. Zoning is a crucial element in Smash. Although it is most important in the neutral, it occurs in all phases of the game. In many characters' cases, their main method of zoning is brick walling, which creates zoning patterns that are relatively safe to most approaches while having the mm. necessary mix-ups to act out of reactions from your opponent. Of course. Oftentimes in neutral, both players will zone each other until one of their zoning patterns creates an opportunity which they might launch an offensive attempt from. <laughs> because successful zoning requires reacting to opponents approaching options, moves that are designed to beat out reaction time are considered zone breakers. Ah. Most dash attacks function this way. I see. Wow, that's an informative shit. So dash attacks are meant to are meant to be a quick attack that can stop someone else's approach from trying to take advantage of a zoning option which appears to have failed. So, oh man, all right, you know, I mean, it, you know this stuff when you actually play the game, but to hear it broken down to a science and actually shown in front of you is something else entirely. Because of this, most speed-based characters are difficult to zone and rely on zone breakers to approach their opponent. Like fucking Sonic, of course. Because that's what makes Sonic so good in this game. He can punish you from across the goddamn field. Meanwhile, most range-based or projectile-based characters rely on setting up walls and creating safety. Of course. Characters like Sheik and Ness are by nature both brick wallers and zone breakers. Uh -huh. Both have the appropriate tools to dictate the pace of the match, but also have the means necessary to stop their opponent's demand of the game's flow. Oh god! Because Marth suffers up close due to poor boxing options and thrives off the tippers, his general game plan will be to keep opponents at a fixed distance. Mm. However, Fal I think Robin works like that too, because none of Robin's attacks really dictate that he'll be good in close range combat. He's a bit of a slower character, he doesn't really have that much um, speed on him. And so because of that, usually he operates at a mid-range distance optimally, which is something I learned from uh, J-Tales actually, that uh, Robin, Robin works mid-range the best. Long range, he's not that good because he doesn't really have that many quick options to hit from across the field, like someone who's like Samus, you know? So, I mean, it's very interesting stuff to keep in mind. What range does your character work at the best? This is what um, Kiyotaru is explaining in this video. And it's something that, you know, I would love to see him go more in depth with, with all the characters, but of course that's an impossible request. That's so much work. But I mean, still, interesting shit. Ken is a character who thrives off of grab setups and has a move set that inherently prospers from being very close to his opponents. Oh my god. In this matchup, oh! we Let's can go. see two dynamic extremes of how these all right, so you know what? I don't wanna I don't wanna take away from the entirety of the video that he posted. Some of this information is really good. I'm gonna continue watching on my own end, but um you guys definitely check out the original video in the description as well too. This is some really high-end information, man. And I just wanna make sure I direct you guys in the right manner. 
you gotta go and check the original video out. This is some really inform informative shit right here. So I mean, of course I'll be trying to apply this to myself as well too. I sort of learned this already from JTales, but still, to hear it broken down, man, this is where you send somebody if they're a noob to Smash and they kind of want to get into the competitive scene, they don't know how to exactly. Smash 3DS already makes it so easy. Smash Wii U makes it so optimal. And these videos will make it a lot more easy to comprehend, you know? I'll talk to you in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.